Next question is from one grumpy economist. What is more taxing on the nervous system? High reps with lower weight or low reps with higher weight? Oh, this is a good question. This, yeah, this is good. This is a really good question. Because um, it depends, as usual. I, it does, right, on the total volume. Mm -hmm. But I, I have to say, if we have to pick one. Heavyweight. Yeah. You know what? That's it's if I, That can be true sometimes, but think about it. Like, what would hammer you more? Like, you know, a set of uh, max out single or one set of like 30 reps on a squat. Are we talking about the feeling of being fried like after you're done? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the high reps will do that to you, won't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. After you're done, the amount of voice. Sometimes I just want to go take a nap because it just, it, you know, the, depending on how much you did, it's like, whoa. Uh, it, it adds up later. Well, you could also make the case that it's going to be most taxing on the one that you don't do. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're, because I've yeah, met. Yeah, super conditioned. Yeah, I've met, I've had clients who are the, you know, CrossFit or the Orange Theory circuit. And then I could superset them, no rest periods for a whole hour. And right. they, they feel fully great adapted afterwards. to that. Yeah. yeah. I could take that same person and do some five by fives or some real heavy tr and they are like the gas they're they they're messed up the next day they're sore shit for the next two or three days so it really has to do with what you're already adapted to really well and then mm -hmm. that's then the opposite is probably going to be more taxing on the CNS because your CNS adapts also yes so if you whatever you're doing and if you're getting good and efficient at it it's 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 not going to be so taxing on the body when you do it again versus mm -hmm. doing something that is totally different than what you ever do. It's going to tax. You're not the used to lifting really heavy weight. Yeah, that's going to be real demanding. Like, right, you need to allocate yeah. a lot of energy in that direction. I think intensity makes a big difference here. Like I can do low reps at moderate intensity, and I can do higher reps at moderate intensity. Right, and neither one of them will tax me. If I do either one at, to failure, there's a a, a huge difference in how. Uh, my body feels. But yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, it depends on which one you're used to and you move away from what you're used to and it's very taxing on the body. Your body's just not used to that those types which of is, Which is why well, when you transition like that, this goes back to the thing I, I always talking about doing as little as possible to elicit the most amount of change. It's like if you make a switch from you know, one modality to another, like you, that's when you got to scale way back. You yes. can't take the same approach. If you've been training circuit training hardcore for six months, years, and you're really good at it, and then you've got the, and you, so you can bring it to that workout. You don't, and then now all of a sudden you start doing five by five type of blocks, you mm -hmm. know, strength you training. Lower the intensity. Yeah, you got to back way off. You can't take that same mindset now that you've adapted to for that way of training, and the same, and the reverse is true. Yeah, well, I noticed this too, even just like moving recently, right? So I'm doing a lot of like awkward, heavy objects, but lots of isometric contraction for longer periods of time. And it was just like my whole body was just like, okay, Ta we're done. Tax your CNS, yeah, right? I have not done It's not that. heavier weight than you've ever dealt no. before. You left heavier weight inside the gym but it's exactly. diff it's so different to the body and you probably were doing it yeah. for an hour two hours and your body yeah. said take a professional mover who moves yeah. people's houses for a Does, living could do three yeah. houses doesn't back even break back. a sweat yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, that's a piece of cake this is uh this is no problem yeah that makes it a huge difference this is why i know there's a lot of ways to measure you know heart heart rate variability and this and that i, I think really just your perceive you have to you have to kind of be in touch with your body and understand how your body feels and i i can tell when I do a workout, usually after, usually after the workout's done, sometimes while I'm doing it, like, oh, that was, I went a little too hard. And it could be heavy, it could be light, it depends on how I felt that day or whatever. So that's what's really important is pay attention to those signs. Like, do I feel fried after my workout? Do I feel scatterbrained? Am I exhausted or do I have energy? Am I feeling stiff or do I feel loose? Do I have lots of inflammation? And then the next workout, do I feel like, wow, I'm weaker. Wow, I don't have as much stamina. Like those are all signs that whatever you did was probably too much.